Okay, good morning everyone. So today we are going to start with the last topic of this uh, Jacobians. So in the Jacobians till now, what we have seen is the first one, how to find out the Jacobians. Then later after that, we have solved examples on composite rule for Jacobians. Then how to find out uh, Jacobians of implicit function? Jacobians of implicit functions. Also, we have seen third one uh, J into J dash is equal to one. So we have solved examples on all of them. And today what we are going to learn is a functional dependence. Functional dependence. So what do we mean by functional dependence? Say for an example, if I take u is equal to x plus y and v is equal to sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. Then, can you find a relation between u and v? Between u and v. Yes. Equals to sin u. Sin u is equal to v. v. Exactly. So sin of u is equal to v. So there is a relation between u and v. So when there is a relation between u and v, we say that those are functionally dependent. If there doesn't exist any relation, if there is no relation, no relation between u and v, between u and v, then functionally independent. Functionally dependent. Independent. So uh, this is the rough meaning of functional dependence. Now these were easy, like uh, sine a cos b cos a sine b. Same formula was used, and uh, we were quite sure. I mean, there is a relation. But if the things gets difficult, say for an example, u is equal to x minus y upon x plus z, and v is equal to two x plus 3y. And now if I say, are they functionally dependent? So it will be very much difficult for these two functions, I mean, to check whether there is a relation or not. If yes, finding out is difficult. If no, proving is also difficult. Okay. So for this purpose, there is a standard mathematical definition using Jacobian. 
which will directly give you the uh, idea that whether those are uh, having a relation or they are not having a relation. So the basic definition or the theorem to see that is. So theorem. Let. U is equal to F1 of X comma Y. And V is equal to F2 of X comma Y. Then if Jacobian of U comma V with respect to X comma Y is equal to zero, then U comma V are functionally dependent. Functionally dependent. So what we are going to check, we will simply find out the Jacobian. If the Jacobian turns out to be zero, then I will declare that those are functionally dependent and hence there exists a relation between U and V. And if the Jacobian of U comma V with respect to X comma Y is not equal to zero, then U comma V are functionally independent. So what we'll do? We will see if the, those are functionally dependent. I will show the Jacobian zero. If the Jacobian turns out to be zero, we will have to find out the relation between those two. Example. Examine for the functional dependence. U is equal to sine inverse of X plus sine inverse of Y. V is equal to X under root 1 minus Y square plus Y root 1 minus X square and find and find relation if dependent. U equals sine inverse P. Yes, let's do it. Correct, I guess. So, Jacobian of U, V with respect to X, Y, we will have to show that this is equal to zero. If there is a relation, then so determinant U with respect to X, U with respect to Y, V with respect to X with respect to y. So ux derivative of u with respect to x is 1 upon root 1 minus x square. So y is 1 upon root 1 minus y square. V with respect to x is root 1 minus y square. 
प्लस वाई बाय टू रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इनटू माइनस टू एक्स सो विच इज अंडर रूट वन माइनस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई अपॉन रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सो वी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई विल बी इक्वल टू अंडर रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई upon root 1 minus y square please take the calculations so we can put this in here 1 upon root 1 minus x square 1 upon root 1 minus y square root 1 minus y square minus x y upon root 1 minus x square so if we solve this so what we will have uh 1 minus xy upon root 1 minus x square root 1 minus y square the first bracket minus the other bracket 1 minus xy upon under root 1 minus x square 1 minus y square So both the terms are same. The answer will turn out to be zero. Hence, u and v are functionally dependent. Hence, u, comma v, are functionally dependent. Once we have declared that those are functionally dependent, what our task is to find out the relation between them. So Pratik gave the answer, but still we will find out. If you don't know the formula for sine inverse x plus sine inverse y, what can be done in this case? So what we'll do is we'll call sine inverse of x is equal to alpha. Sine inverse of y is equal to beta. So x is equal to sine alpha. Y is equal to sine beta. So v is equal to Put the values sine alpha under root one minus sine square beta plus sine beta under root one minus cos square beta. Sorry, sine square beta alpha. What I'm doing? Huh. So this is sine alpha. One minus sine square cos square, so this will be cos beta plus this is sine beta cos of alpha. So this is nothing but sine of alpha plus beta. But what is alpha plus beta? It is nothing but u. So v is equal to sine u. This is the relation between u and v. So, if you are lucky enough to give theory exam, then this is complete solution. Up to this, you will have to solve. If it is objective, no problem at all. Fine. Let's go to the another example.
examine for functional dependence. U is equal to x minus y upon x plus y, comma. P is equal to x plus y upon x. If dependent, find the relation. So Jacobian of UV with respect to XY. So UX, UY, VX, VY. Derivative of u with respect to x will be x plus y into 1 minus x minus y to 1 on x plus y square. This is ux. So this will be x minus x 2y upon x plus y square. And ui is x plus y into minus 1 minus x minus y into 1. <coughs> Sorry. Huh, so this will be x and minus x will get cancelled out. So what do we have? Minus. Oh, sorry, minus 2x upon x plus y square. Look, v can be written as 1 plus y by x. So derivative will be easier to find out. So this is equal to ux, which is 2y upon x plus y square. This is minus 2x upon x plus y square. Vx is minus y by x square. Vy is 1 by x. So this is 2y by x into x plus y square minus 2xy by x squared into x plus y square. 1x will get cancelled out and later all of this, this is same. So that is Jacobian is turning out to be zero. So u and v are functionally dependent. Anyone, what is the relation? Can you find out the relation? You have to work with this U and V. So, uh, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, can we can we do component do on uh, u side in the equation for u? Actually, you can do the component do numerator plus denominator of uh, So u plus one will be two x by x plus y. Uh, that no, is that is two sorry. by v. Uh, okay, let's just go by simple way. The simple way is take the product of this u into v. So this will get cancelled out denominator. So what we have is x minus y by x. 
so this x can be separated 1 minus y by x. but from v what do we have but but v is equal to 1 plus y by x so which means that y by x is equal to 1 minus v so let's put that value here so 1 minus 1 minus v so uv turned out to be Oh, I've done something wrong about V minus 1, it has to be V minus 1. So this is V minus 1. So this will be 2 minus V. I mean, uh, that way too you will get the solution, but uh, Generally, 80% of the students may not know what is this component or dividend. So that's why uh, I have done this way. Fine. Look, there is nothing special about two variables. The same thing can be done for three variables too. Okay. So for an example, if u is equal to x plus y plus z, v is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and w is equal to x square plus y square let me just change it z square plus 2z And W is equal to X minus Y plus Z. Then examine for functional dependence. Examine for functional dependence. Find the relation of dependent. Find the relation if dependent. So Jacobian of U V W with respect to X Y Z. So this is equal to U X U Y uz vx vy vz wx wy wz so ux1 vy1 uz1 vx is 2x vy is 2y vz is 2z plus 2 wx 1 wy minus 1 wz 1 so the determinant of this is 1 in bracket 2y plus 2z plus 2 minus 1 in bracket 2x minus 2z minus 2 plus minus 2x minus 2y 
So this 2y will get cancelled out with this 2y. This is turning out to be 0. So this 2z and this 2z will become 4z plus 2 plus 2 4 and the last one is minus 2x minus 4x so this is not equal to 0 hence functions are independent functions are independent. There doesn't exist any relation between U V W. Sir, a doubt. Yes. Sir, uh, if there is no relation between U, V and W, but there can be relation between U and V or V and W or U and W something. Yes, there can, can be. be a possibility. Yes, there is a possibility, but uh, I'm interested right now in three. OK, uh, there may exist that U and V will have relation, but there is another way to find out that because what is the case here? U is the function of X, Y and Z. V is the function of X, Y, Z. So when you will try to find out the Jacobian of this. UV with respect to x, y, z. This is what you want to find. So ux, uy, uz, vx, vy, vz. You cannot find the determinant of this. Determinant is for a square matrix, not for a rectangular matrix. Am I right? Yes, sir. So there is another method like uh, you have seen this grammar's rule in your 10th standard. So in the similar ma similar manner, there is another method to find that, but not in our syllabus. So I'm not discussing it. So okay. yeah. Next example. Example. Examine U is equal to X plus Y plus Z. V is equal to X minus Y plus Z. And W is equal to X square plus Y square plus Z square plus 2XZ. for functional dependence for functional dependence and find relation if dependent and find the relation if dependent so we'll have to find the jacobian of UVW with respect to XYZ. So this is equal to determinant UX, UY, UZ, all are one. VX is one, VY is minus one, VZ is one. WX is 2X plus 2Z. 2Z WY is y w z is 2 z plus 2 a so first and third column are same so the determinant will be equal to 0 okay so in whichever determinant you see two rows or two columns are same so the determinant turns out to be 0 now the task is to find 
the relation between them any guess uh, sir yes uh the 2xz can be split up as xz plus xz uh, and then uh, uh, so x square plus xz uh, one group and then z square plus x xz is another group uh, then take uh, x plus x will be common no, no. from one and z will be common from other uh, so by factoring you get x plus z bracket square uh, uh, plus y square so now for x plus z we can add u and v uh, and for x ma or and for y square uh, we can subtract u and v and then square it Uh, x x side plus x there. So, but y will remain as it is, right? So yes, sir. You, uh, so y will be calculated. Y can be calculated from u minus yes. v. U minus v by two. It will be. Uh, okay. Then you will have x side. X square plus X Z. You take Z common. So let me do it over here. So X square plus Y square plus Z square plus X Z plus X Z. So that will be X square plus X Z plus Z square plus X Z plus Y square. So x common x plus z plus z common x plus z. So this is simply x plus z square plus y square. Now what you do is saying u plus v will be equal to uh, two times x plus z. So x plus z is equal to u plus v by two. And u minus v is equal to two uh, y, which means that y is equal to u minus v by two. So we can substitute it. Over. Yes, very good. So this is the relation between them. Uh, I'll do it another way. Uh, because there are five to six same kind of examples there. I mean. Uh, even in your question bank, you will find out this. So there are three to four examples of the same type where you have three variables. You have squares and uh, there is this third term W like this with plus and minus change over there. So this technique will work for all of them. So you take U square. So that will be X plus Y plus Z whole square. So u square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2xz. Similarly, v square will be x square plus y square plus z square minus 2xy plus 2yz. Oh, sorry, minus 2yz. Plus two x z. So if you add these two of them, u square plus v square will be equal to. So only these minus signs will get cancelled out. Other things will be as it is. So two times x square plus y square plus z square plus two x z. But this is nothing but w. So u square. Plus v square is equal to two w. So if we go by the way Pratik said, so still we'll get the same answer. Fine. So I want you to try one example now. u is equal to x minus y upon x plus z 
and v is equal to x plus z upon y plus z. Do it. First of all, check whether those are functionally dependent. If dependent, then find out the relation. So what did become two by three? So it can't be calculated. Yes. Yes. Uh, the <clears throat> determinant won't be three by three. It will be two by three. Oh, order. I'm so sorry about it. Just a minute. Let me change that. u is equal to x minus y upon x plus y and v is equal to x y upon x plus y square yes now it will be possible अथर्व लक्ष्मी Atharva, when have you joined? Sorry, sir. Uh, when did you join? I mean, started the lectures. At ten forty-six something. No, no, not time. I'm asking the date because I think you're late admitted. Yes, sir. Um, I don't remember the date, but it's mid-December some, somewhere. Here in the December. Okay. Yes, sir. So you have completed the previous work? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, functions are dependent or independent? Anirudh. मोहम्मद खान यस सर 
functions are dependent or independent so it's dependent sir dependent So it is independent. Yes, Prabal. So it is independent. Okay. Mohammed is saying dependent. No, sir, independent. He is also saying independent. Okay. सर इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिपेंडेंट इज देर एनी वन हू इज गुड विथ डेरेवेटिव Anirudha, I am waiting for your answer. Solving. This is Bhavika. Manas Saxena. Is there no one who can do the derivatives and determine them properly? Sir, independent. Again, independent. Very good. So, W by W x. So basically, we tried finding the relation. so we couldn't arrive at any conclusive rel relation mm. hence forth we said it is independent so you should always check out the the determinant first of all check out the jacobian no, that sir, is the first step sir i checked the determinant but it is not coming zero okay then there is something wrong minus x minus y upon x plus y square So this is two y. Sir, zero coming. X plus y square and u y will be equal to minus two x upon x plus y square. Please check the calculation. So let me do it properly. In Hari, so this will be x plus y into minus one minus x minus y into one on x plus y square so minus x minus x so this will be minus two y minus two. Minus x minus y minus x plus y. So minus two x on x plus y whole square. So v x will be equal to x plus y square into y minus x y into two times x plus y. Upon x plus y raised to four. So this is x square y plus two x y square plus y cube 
minus 2 square y minus 2 x y square upon x plus y raised to 4. So x square y, x square y, 2 x y square, 2 x y square. So that is pi q minus x square y upon x plus y raised to 4. Vy will be equal to x plus y square into x. Okay, I'll directly write down the answer here. So that will be x cube minus y square x upon x plus y raised to 4. So the Jacobian of uv with respect to x, y. Sir, sir. It's equal to. Yes. Sir, actually my b, y is connected. You are not audible properly, Anirudh. Sir, my b, y is coming x cube plus x, y square minus 2 x square y. That's not possible. Uh, you have done something wrong because this yeah. is this uh -huh. function v is symmetric about x and y so whatever is the derivative of x the vy will be just interchanging x with y yeah i somewhere i got wrong um, miscalculated yes so this is y cube minus x square y upon plus y raised to 4. So this is x cube minus y square x upon x plus y raised to 4. So when we find out the determinant here, I'll write down in the top corner. So that will be 2y x cube minus 2 y cube x. Then there will be plus 2 x y cube minus 2 x cube y. On x plus y raised to 6. 2x cube y, 2x cube y, 2y cube x, 2y cube x. Get cancelled out. The answer is 0. So you can find out the relation between them now. I'll give you the relation. So let's uh, start with a u. Uh, sir? Yes. Uh, sir, is the relation uh, u square plus 4v minus 1 equals 0? u square is equal to? u square equals 1 minus 4v. Yes, it is correct. So u square will be actually equal to? x minus y square upon x plus y square which can be 
separated now. So x square minus 2xy plus y square for an x plus y square. So if we separate this, what we'll have x square plus y square upon x plus y square minus two times xy upon x plus y square. So this is nothing but v u square u square is equal to so x square plus y square so this can be again made into uh, complete square here and what i can do is i can add and subtract my uh, plus 2xy and minus 2xy so x square minus 2xy plus y square minus 2 plus 2xy upon x plus y square upon x plus y square minus 2 times v so again this is u square is equal to this is nothing but x minus y upon x plus y complete square plus 2 times this thing is nothing but v oh that is something terrible. Minus two x y. Oh, sir, take the take the two plus two x y term with x square plus y square, so it will be one minus two v. Which one? Uh, you have taken minus two x y in the grouping of x square plus y square, right? So instead, yes. take two x y there. Okay, so that uh, again, this will become minus. Okay. So this will become minus. Yes. So plus and this minus. Fine. So this will get cancelled out. So that will become one minus two times v minus two times v. So this is u square is equal to one minus four v. Fine. Uh, so that is all about the functional dependence. In the next lecture, we will do errors and approximation. So we just need three more lectures to complete our syllabus. So as planned, the next week we will end up this. Once again, I'm repeating, I have shared the Google sheet on your Google Classroom. So I told you there to enter your group